When you're working on a project with more than one designer, it's normal to break the work into disciplines or work areas, with each designer working concurrently in their designated space. When this happens, you might need to make your piping connect on another model that's been XREFed into yours. For example, if the equipment is a different model, you may still need to connect to it and have that connection registered in the database so that it's called out properly on your ISOs. So let's try that out with our piping model. Let's go ahead and open 0604 piping. Now you'll be familiar with this model already, but you'll notice I have removed the equipment and we're gonna bring that back in as an XREF. So I'm gonna change my view here back to parallel and just using regular AutoCAD, I'm gonna bring this in as desktop, exercise files, chapter six, plant 3D model, equipment, and here's our equipment XREF. I'm gonna bring that in as an overlay and 000 insert point. So now let's look at the connections. So you can see we have a teardrop shown here. So we're not actually connected. If we were to ISO that, this would just be called an open connection. So we have to manually connect these back up again. And to do that, I'm gonna right click on the flange. I'm gonna say connect component to adjacent, and I'm just gonna pick the nozzle. And you'll notice that we now have the connection. We have bolts and gaskets. We have to do that for all the connections that we've made in this XREF. So let's go ahead and just do the same thing. I'm gonna right click on the valve. I'm going to connect to adjacent and I'm going to select the pump. We're going to pick the flange, connect to component and pick the pump. And you'll notice as we do this, the little tiers connect to component and we've got the pump. And one last one down here. So that's all our connections. You can tell by the bolts and gaskets or the little lollipop here. And I think we have one more we have to make over here to connect. And we're gonna select the flange and we're gonna select the nozzle. So the other scenario that we have here is if we bring an XREF for piping. So I'm gonna bring one more in and I'm gonna just go back one level here and we're gonna bring in 604A piping. I'm going to bring that again as overlay, zero, zero. And you'll see, just assuming that this is an area break or a module break, we want this piping to attach to this piping, even though that's in an XREF, so it's going to work the same way piping to piping. We're going to connect to the adjacent opponent component, and you'll see it's placed the gaskets in there and the bolts. And we're going to do the same here. Now, that's fine when we're making connections, but if you're actually running new pipe, what we have is a different feature. Now, it's, it's a little bit of a strange thing here. Take a pencil and write this down because you're gonna to need to remember this. If we try to connect to a piece of equipment that's existing, so you'll notice we don't have a continue pipe, the little cross that we normally have when we're running. For example, if we have the little cross, we can just pick that, it'll place the appropriate flange and keep going. So what we will have to do is I'm gonna just hover over here and I'm gonna to look to see that's a six inch, 300 pound flange and we're set to six inch, 300 pounds. But since we don't have a connection point to pick, we have to type in at the command prompt, plant, pipe, add. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna make a connection between an XREF and a drawing when we're working off the nozzle here. And it's gonna ask me to pick the node on the equipment. And you'll see now at that point, I can continue on and that piping has been connected to the vessel. You can see there that we do have the lollipop for the bolts, and you can see the gaskets in there as well. So remember that plant pipe add. So now that you've connected the piping across XREFs, you can have more than one person working in an area at one time and still be able to connect and recognize each other's models without losing connections. And the ISO will always show the connections now too.